Hey guys, you're watching the Visible Dark Astro channel. I'm Sean Nielsen. Tonight I'm going to be shooting the uh, Owl Nebula M97. I'm going to be doing um, imaging it all night long. I'm going to try for seven, eight hours of data. I'm using the Vixen uh, VC200L 8-inch uh, scope and that has the QHY-168C attached to it which has um, an Optolong L-Enhanced filter installed. So we'll get narrow band data on M97. Uh, specifically the H Alpha and O3 will, will definitely be captured with this filter designed to do it, designed to work for one-shot color cameras, whether it's a cooled CMOS camera or a, uh, a DSLR. Um, the scope is riding on an EQ6 mount. Uh, it's an older uh, version, but uh, an oldie but a goodie. It's still functioning, still works really well to this day. Now, M97 is a small faint target, but uh, this is 1800 millimeter focal length, so we're going to get a nice, uh, nice close-up view of it. And um, let's get things started right now. The scope is pointed at Venus, uh, just having a quick peek before I uh, swing it over and do some autofocusing and uh, get imaging on M97. Autofocus is done, and uh, I was using uh, the SGP uh, built-in autofocus routine, and uh, it completed successfully 99% uh, quality. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is slew the telescope over to M97. So let's go over to uh, our window here, and M97 is down here, and I'll just click on center on target. That's going to slew the telescope over to M97 for us. We can see here that the telescope is slewing currently, making its way over to M97. We'll just follow its progress here. It's continuing to slew. You can see it moving past Polaris now headed towards M97. M97 is located near M108. And there we go. It looks like it's uh, centering on it now. Let's just go back to... Oh, there's the plate solve kicking in. And the plate solve is going to determine whether or not the scope is pointed at M97. And since it's not, it's going to make corrections. Um, it's going to send corrections to the mount to reposition the, uh, the camera and the telescope so that uh, it's pointed at M97. Let's just go back to SGP here and have a look at what it's doing. And you can see that it's running the plate solve. Um, it's running it a second time now. It uh, failed the first time it found that it wasn't in the proper position. So it's going to reevaluate and it's going to try to reposition. So it's got itself closer now, which means we should be looking at this centering on M97 very shortly. And SGP has successfully positioned the telescope and camera on M97 and we'll just do a quick test image here and we'll let it go for 60 seconds on M97 here's a, a one minute uh, image of M97 uh, just a test image just to see how it is centered in the uh, in the field of view uh, looks like it's going to be pretty good. I've got uh, SGP set to do 10-minute uh, exposures on it, um, and we're going to uh, just try for as many as possible throughout the night until I tell it to uh, uh, end imaging, which will be about 5.30 in the morning. So we'll just set it for 5.30 to stop imaging, and we'll click OK. We're not going to tell it to slew to it when I start the sequence, uh, only because it's already um, centered on M97 
and uh, all I have to do is now start imaging. Guiding is looking uh, pretty good. The, uh, there's very little oscillation occurring and um, although it is making corrections, auto, uh, PHD2 guiding is making corrections uh, to the mount um, as needed, uh, the oscillation is, is very minimal as you can see here in these the two lines, the red and the blue are, are pretty uh, flat all across the board. And now we'll just wait for the first uh, 10 minute image of M97 to come in and let me just uh, fast forward to that. Here's the first uh, 10 minute light frame um, that uh, has come in. Um, this is M97 here, the uh, Owl Nebula. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Stars are nice and uh, sharp, nice and pinpoint. And we're getting some good detail in the, uh, some good narrow band detail in the, uh, the nebula itself. So we're going to just uh, continue imaging here. I've got it set to go all night up until um, 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning when the uh, scope will uh, discontinue the uh, imaging run and uh, park itself and shut everything down. Alright, so last night went really well. Um, <clears throat> I got about uh, seven hours of data on M97 and uh, it was uh, a very successful night. It was clear all night um, and it uh, worked out really great so I'm quite happy with it. Uh, just a quick uh, shout out to kwtelescope.com uh, for lending me the uh, Vixen VC200L to uh, do some imaging during galaxy season to capture galaxies in planetary nebula. Um, that was really cool of them to be able to do that. Check them out online, kwtelescope.com. And uh, let's uh, go have a look at some of this data of M97 taken with the Optolong l Enhance filter. And uh, we'll look at it in Pixon site and, uh, and uh, see what we got. And this is the final uh, versions that I have of M97 um, that I uh, processed in Pixinsight. Um, this is uh, one uh, take on it that I did and uh, it looks really nice. It's got the nice uh, teal uh, color center to the uh, Owl Nebula there. Um, this was another version that I had processed and uh, the uh, center is a little more blue but I think that the um, uh, well, there, there's different variations of M97. Um, uh, people seem to have uh, uh, different takes on it uh, when you're looking at it uh, online, uh, the different images, um, a lot of different color variations uh, to it. Uh, the, uh, the teal, I think, though, in the center, um, the teal, I think, is more representative of oxygen in terms of narrowband channel. Um, than the than a, than a blue center is, but the blue does look nice, I will say. So art is prerogative uh, in terms of how you want the image to look in the end, I suppose. Um, this was actually uh, one of my uh, first uh, uh, first versions that I had processed, and um, it again uh, has the teal center to it and whatnot. But um, the notable part of it is, um, and I don't know if you can see this in the video, but uh, the faint outer shell. The uh, Owl Nebula has a, a green faint outer shell to it uh, that surrounds it and um, uh, with more time on it, more data uh, could get that to uh, reveal itself better. But um, interesting enough, I had processed this and uh, had noticed that there was a uh, an outer uh, shell to the uh, Owl Nebula and I had thought I had introduced that uh, by accident but um, in talking with another uh, fellow astrophotographer who's um, imaging the M97 as well um, this point was uh, brought up in the discussion about the uh, the outer shell and I wasn't aware that M97 actually had an outer shell to it so um, kind of interesting that I was able to pick it up um, considering this data was shot in moonlight um, and uh, the uh, the Optolong L Enhance filter seemed to work really well in cutting through that and uh, gathering uh, H alpha and oxygen three uh, data um, 
uh, for the uh, M97 image that you're seeing here. Um, highly recommend you check out the uh, Optolong L Enhance filter if you haven't. Um, I'll put a link to it uh, in the description so you can easily find it. Um, it's not that expensive and it works really well. Um, it's a lot of fun to use, so check it out. Um, all of this data was shot uh, with uh, the uh, Vixen VC200L and uh, the 1800mm focal length, and we got a nice, uh, nice close-up view of M97 using that telescope. And uh, the camera, again, was the QHY168C. And all of the gear that I use, um, I'll list in the description uh, with links to it and that if you're interested in checking out anything in particular, uh, feel free to do so. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, if you uh, enjoy this video and you enjoy the other videos and haven't subscribed and feel like doing that, I uh, always appreciate if you would. If you have a comment, uh, feel free to comment below and uh, let me know uh, what you think of the image or if you have any... Uh, any uh, suggestions or any other uh, comments uh, regarding the uh, the imaging and uh, processing of uh, M97 in uh, Pixinsight. That's it for now. Stay safe, everyone. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.